Hey, what's up guys? Mana here. Welcome to the shop, the place where I turn dirt bikes into street bikes and street bikes into off-roaders. Yes, that is the Interceptor 650 that, you know, I posted a while ago and this is going to be part two of that update. Hopefully this will be the last one and uh, I'm going to show you, prove to you that we can put larger tires on the Interceptor 650 without any major modifications to the frame and the fork. Anyway, here goes. So what's going on here at the shop is really what? It's uh, almost seven and I'm done with work. Yeah, focus. As you can see, there's a CRF 150L that I'm gonna turn into a supermoto. There's another CRF 150L that I just finished uh, earlier. And there's the Interceptor 650 that I talked about in the last video where we measured the wheels, the rims, uh, you know, the spacing and so on and so forth. And we finally did it. You no, know, I'm done with the wheels. And Okay, so I have to admit that this is the first time that I've done this on a Royal Enfield Interceptor. And, uh, well, it's a success. I did not doubt myself. It's just that this was a challenging endeavor like especially on the rear wheel which we'll be talking about in a bit so here's the bike it's rolling on 120 70 19 tires on a 19 inch 2.5 wide rim uh we'll talk about that later because we'll have something to say about that rim and uh, we installed a bunch of parts also like this uh engine covers i forgot the name you know one of the subscribers one of you guys mentioned that this is uh, something from thailand uh, looks cool it adds you know a bit more to the character to the engine and of course the exhaust this is a tec or tech stinger two is to one exhaust the owner of this bike bought all of these parts and asked me to install these with the help of revolt cycles of course Yep, I'm gonna fire this up later and uh, yeah, you're gonna hear the beautiful sound that comes out of this wonderful looking exhaust. Yeah, we will be installing more parts to this bike in the, in the future, but as of now, I'm already done with my part. The other parts will be installed by Jerry of Revolt Cycles. And, um, yeah, so we're gonna be talking about the tires. Now, the most challenging part about this build was the offsets of the rear wheel so as you can see we're already rolling on Metzler what's it called this forgot the name but it is a 150 by 70 17 tire on a 4.25 wide rim with 36 spokes by the way I discussed the number of spokes the measurements and so on and so forth in the previous video so go check it out if you're curious of how these things measure so there you have it Look at how wide that is. Look at how chunky that is compared to the CRF with a 140. In my opinion, it looks way better. Yeah, you could probably mistake it for a Triumph uh, Scrambler or something. Looks nice, right? Okay, so yeah, we didn't do any major modifications to the swing arm nothing at all and the good thing is the stock chain guard fits and uh, uh yeah the challenging part about this build is that uh, i had to get the offsets right for the rear wheel like i had to go to the wheel builder three times just to get the right uh, clearances also no modifications to the swing arm I'm gonna post some pictures over here to show to you close-ups and it did not affect the ABS at all all right Woo. beautiful bike beautiful bike right now I want to talk about the front wheel because the front wheel that I have here to be honest with you it's not you know to spec because uh, we're using a 2.5 wide rim and uh, we're rolling on 120 by 70, 19 tires. Now, if you look at it, you know, it looks okay. You know, it looks fine. 
but due to limitations and of course uh, my client already bought the tire so it would be kind of a bummer if we had to you know replace it with something else because we already paid for it so we just have to you know make do with it so anyway it fits it was a challenging you know installation by the way uh, in my opinion this should have been at least a should have been a 120 by 80 uh, aspect ratio or a 110 by 80 tire to make it you know uh, you know get the right contact patch for the tire but anyway as you can see it works and I managed to use the stock front fender I just added some spacers so I can find you know the correct uh, you know, proper spacer so I just use these nuts to lift the front fender up to get the right clearance yep there you have it anyway let's have some b-rolls of this bike So what can you say about this bike with the upgraded wheels? Do you like it? Is it a pass? Well, leave a comment below. And if you're wondering where I'm from, I am here in the island of Cebu in the Philippines. And uh, yeah, I do supermoto conversions. I sell tires. And I also, well, oh, now I now accept, uh, you know, wheel changes, upgrades for the Interceptor 650. I have the right parts. I have a package in mind already, especially if you're on a budget. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below or DM me in any of my social media accounts. I'll be glad to help you out. All right, that's it for this video. See you next time. Bye.